What is up guys, this is iUpdateOS, and today I'm going to show you how you can get an almost complete iOS 7 theme on your jailbroken iOS 6 device. There will be a lot of things you'll need to download, so I will have all the information about that stuff down in the description. Now the first thing you're going to need to download is called iOS 7 theme. That's if you want your icons to look just like they do on iOS 7. Now you're probably thinking, didn't you just do a video on this like a couple weeks ago? Well I did but they actually released a new iOS 7 theme and they have been releasing new iOS 7 stuff every day that I wanted to show you guys. Now if you go on Cydia and search iOS 7 theme, two different things will come up. I actually did a video on the one by AR7 but there's another really good one out there. You're going to want to make sure you download the newer one by PW5A29. Now the reason I chose this new theme over the old one is because this one actually covers a lot more than the other one. Here's a list of all the things it covers. Now obviously it's going to cover your app icons, but what's really cool is it'll actually cover your app icons in settings. For example, you can see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all the apps like that are themed in settings, just like in iOS 7. And along with all that stuff, it will include three wallpapers. Of course, this is at the time of making this video, so more may be added as the time goes on. Now some other things that it does include is a charging indicator, a minimal lock screen, a flat app skin for app store apps, a flat notification bubble, a flat black linen, a transparent notification center background, closing boxes, a music switcher, slider, and NC setting toggles. Now as I just read, this theme does cover a lot of stuff and it's one of my favorite themes out there and the best of all is that it's free. But there has been new iOS 7 stuff that has been coming out every day since WWDC. So I want to show you guys some really cool stuff that has come out in the past couple weeks. One of my favorite things that was released was the iOS 7 font. It's actually hard to tell the difference between the iOS 7 and iOS 6 fonts until you're actually using a device with iOS 7 in person. But anyways, after you install this, it will include an app icon on your home screen titled Bida Font. You're just going to have to open that and go under the middle section and make sure you check the iOS 7 section. Then it'll be enabled and after a quick respring, your device will have the iOS 7 font. And it's really neat because it actually goes on all your applications, Facebook, settings, and it even themes the Cydia font. And once again, I will include the names of all these themes and tweaks I've used in the description. Another iOS 7 tweak that came out was called iOS 7 OXO theme. Now if you're not sure what OXO is, it's a completely redesigned app switcher for your iOS device. And it's my favorite app switcher I've seen yet. This tweak basically makes everything transparent, but my favorite part is that it themes the toggles page. So if you go over one page or two pages depending on what your preference is, you'll see the redesigned toggle page which includes really nice looking toggle icons that look just like the iOS 7 control center toggles. And of course it also themes your music page. This next one is super cool. So as you see on the left, you can get live wallpapers on iOS 7 and they include two bubble themes for free. But of course that isn't included in iOS 6 automatically, but there is a city tweak that lets you do that. The name of it is Live Papers and when you install it, it comes with one for free, but it only lets you get the moving bubbles against a purple background. However, if you are willing to pay the 99 cents to get this tweak, there is one called Bubbles Pro Live Wallpaper which lets you customize the bubbles in many ways. Now I actually did cover this tweak in an earlier video, but I wanted to show it to you guys again just in case you're a new subscriber. Once again, I would definitely recommend this tweak if you haven't already gotten it, because I actually did cover it in one of my earlier videos, but I wanted to show it again just in case you're a new subscriber. This next tweak was made by the same person who made the iOS 7 OXO theme. So this one is actually centered around the iOS 7 VLOX theme, which if you've never heard of VLOX, it's actually a really neat tweak. If you slide up or down on one of the applications on your home screen, it'll come up with certain functionality for that. For example, if you swipe up or down on settings, it'll come up with some toggles and a brightness slider. If you swipe up on Safari, you can actually browse the web straight from your home screen. This is a really neat tweak that's worth checking out if you've never heard of it before. And since this new theme was made by the same person who made the iOS 7 OXO theme, you'll notice that they're very similar. So when you swipe down on settings or any app for that instance, it will have a transparent background just like an OXO. I would definitely recommend this if you do have VLOX installed and you're looking to complete your iOS 7 theme. This next tweak is very very small and it's very simple as well. 
You know, sliders are different in iOS 7, and you can bring that to iOS 6 as well. It's of course called iOS 7 Slider Theme, and it changes all your old sliders from iOS 6 into the new iOS 7 style. You can see that on Settings, if you go to Sounds, both the sliders on iOS 6 and 7 look almost identical. This is another really simple tweak, but I actually really like it. Now this next iOS 7 calculator theme is not exactly the same as it is on iOS 7. There's actually three major changes that I've noticed so far. The first is that MC, M+, M-, and then the MR buttons are completely missing from iOS 7. Now I'm not sure if that's a bug in the iOS 7 beta, or if Apple just left those out in iOS 7. The next is that the divide sign is next to the multiplication sign, where in iOS 7 it's above it. And the last but probably most noticeable change about the iOS 7 calculator theme is that the background is kind of a gray, even though it's supposed to be black like an actual iOS 7. And finally, the last thing I want to tell you about is blurry to NC background. Now like I said before, the pre-installed iOS 7 theme that you've probably already downloaded does include a kind of a blurry to NC background, but there's a lot better one that I found that actually looks a lot closer to the actual iOS 7 notification center background. So when you download blurry to NC background, it may or may not be enabled. You're going to have to head over to settings and click enable, and while you're there, I have my Gaussian radius, or however you say that word, to all the way to the right, and then the one below it, I have my color set to black, and the color opacity 3 fourths to the right. And finally, if you do want to know some extra details about all of the things I've talked about today, I do have a really detailed post on my website, and I will have a short link in the description. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video, and I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button, because I did work very hard on this video. Sorry it was so long, but I did want to include all the cool stuff that's come out. And if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to comment in the comment section about anything in this video or anything iOS in general. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.